How is it going guys? It's Eclipse here and today's gameplay is something I was definitely not expecting. We are going to be getting some revenge playing in one of the slowest tanks within World of Tanks console, Modern Armour, and that is the AT-15, the Tier 8 tank destroyer for the British line. This is a really, really interesting tank to be honest because it is predominantly pretty slow but it doesn't have armor whatsoever and of course at the beginning of the game we are AFK which I would never really recommend probably went out to go and grab a, a drink or something um, whilst I was waiting but we are back now and it's time to take some action against the enemy team and boy oh boy this replay hence why it is just a singular replay today and only nine minutes long it is basically uh, one of my favourite games that I've ever had uh, within such a slow tank within one of the tanks and trust me this is not a particularly very fast tank and so you're not going to be seeing this driving around like a light tank uh, within this gameplay but maybe just maybe you'll see some fairly high damage numbers coming out of a tier 8 tank destroyer that really doesn't have too much other than DPM uh, because the armor model when you're playing in a slow tank although you know sometimes they typically have more armor the majority of time you never actually get to use that armor because people have premium rounds which if you've never played world of tanks before you probably don't have a clue about the premium rounds and how overpowered they are within the game because they just essentially mean that you can pen every single thing within the game almost um, at least if you're playing in anything with okay penetration to start with now what you see me doing here is of course I have had an absolute shocker at the beginning. We've not managed to hit very much and we are essentially on 200 damage um, and yeah now we're starting to rack up damage on the Chrysler on the move of course because this is so slow that the reticle when you're moving is barely even different from when you're stationary. Chrysler's firing HE for some reason, probably trying to get a light tank, but we've racked up a thousand damage already and that's where these slow tanks, or at least the British slow tank destroyers, come into effect when they have that crazy high DPM and that's why when you've got 280 alpha damage that reloads in about 4 seconds, well 4.1 seconds as you just saw on screen, means that yes, this LT432 didn't really have a chance. And we picked up 1700 damage at the beginning of the game, being that we went straight into the middle of the map on the uh, highway here, which is just pretty bonkers to be honest. One horrible thing within the game, and you're about to see however, is a little thing over in the back of the map firing rounds from halfway across the map and yeah the artillery manages to hit us there and taking away the majority of the hit points that we've received for this game however he didn't manage to pen so I can't complain that much but we do see that something's been going on over there by those ridge lines so we're gonna have to take a pot shot and unfortunately we actually managed to hit and unfortunately for us we didn't manage to get the final shot on that centurion but it is about time we're gonna be picking up the final damage on the Chrysler K um, which is really really nice and we get a little bit of extra damage. Comet is there now, we'll put a few rounds into him and you can see just how quickly the slow tank comes into effect. Now I'm not saying that slow tanks are in any way, sense or form uh, overpowered, they are pretty awful in the majority of situations and um, having speed is one of the key things within World of Tanks consoles, meta at the minute or at least if you don't understand what meta is I mean like it's potential like the the best way to play essentially it's like the most efficient the one that is just the best like the sort of tanks that perform the best and they typically tend to be fast heavies fast medium tanks uh, that have good alpha that also have high dpm obviously if you find a mixture of those then you're going to have a good tank and if you can find something that has an auto loader that also has high dpm that typically tends to be pretty overpowered as well so look at something like a machine or something like that where it has both the mobility the somewhat decent armor and also that auto loader that's where things like that just become outrageously overpowered and you'll probably see that if you've ever played against some of those tanks that we've mentioned anyway into this gameplay two and a half thousand damage we are in the middle of the map and quite possibly one of the worst places and don't worry because the AT-15 has the best gun elevation to the point where you can't even raise your barrel up even on a pretty normal slope that you'll be seeing so yes it's not particularly the best tank uh, for at least trying to get some decent um, 
bit like elevation or anything or working any ridge lines and considering you've got those huge cupolas on the top of the tank you definitely don't have <laughs> a decent tank overall um, yeah those points on the top of the tank you see the two bulbous things yeah they get penned pretty much every single time and if you're coming up against those tier 10 of your premium rounds they can just go straight through anywhere on the front of your tank and I'm talking the superstructure which is something that you never want happening but unfortunately it does within the game and so yeah now back to the gameplay at hand what's been going on well we've picked up 2900 damage we've got 1700 assistance which is crazy considering we're so slow and yes although we have some of the view range perks that make it somewhat nicer uh, to play it does mean that we you know, aren't expected to get that much assistance and as we talk about it we're literally getting more and more uh, 2200 now make that 2288 and as we keep going the assistance damage just keeps racking up and although we haven't necessarily done the most damage that you'll ever see 3200 damage the assistance damage is more than made up for it but we're not about to stop here and you can see the diamondback is pulling back we're going to put one round into him and considering we have such great dpm we can put another one into him before he's even reloaded and then he gets finished off by the Rheinmetall Borsig Waffentrager on our team. Now there are multiple tanks still left alive in front of us. We have three TDs, don't know exactly who they are. Uh, we have two mediums and an artillery. The artillery is probably the one that I'm most fearful of within this game and that's because just the... basically I don't want to depend me and let me happen when you're in such a slow, fat tank like this and yeah by all means you get penned by artillery fairly often in a tank like this now after talking about doing a fairly insignificant amount of damage or at least in terms of for a game on youtube 3000 damage is not particularly great but combined we've managed to do what, 6000 damage combined or over 6000 damage combined in a tier 8 slow tank destroyer on highway which Trust me, Highway is not the best map for a tank destroyer that's super slow. Yes, you can get those odd games where you can sit at the back and you can um, get damage against people that are crossing in the open field, but that relies on a lot of different conditions, um, whereas this game has just seemingly worked so well. You'll see what I've done here is loaded the HE rounds, and that is exactly why. 381 damage in one shot against the Dragon, and this is predominantly because if I can deal damage with the HE rounds, it means I can secure damage with the standard rounds against some of the opponents that maybe have a little bit more armor than the artillery or the dragon or the hellcat that was on my right and that's kind of what i was thinking i don't want to run out of rounds that are actually decent penetration because you know there's nothing worse than having your decent game ruined because you've run out of rounds and that happens in quite a few scenarios obviously this game probably not going to happen we've got seven rounds against the skoda t40 and it's not going to be the awful kind of round that you want to be seeing where you throw it right at the end. In fact, seven versus one, I very much doubt that the Scope is ever going to be able to win it on his own. And we put one more into him, unfortunately only damaging the tracks. But we did pick up 4,873 damage, 3,000 assistance within the AT-15, making the grand total damage number above 7,000 total, 6 kills, 2,276 base experience, clawing a revenge for all of those games where you play the slow tanks and just do not get any damage. Yeah, 7,873 assistance, meaning our total just shy of, uh, well, 8,000 combined damage in a tier 8 tank destroyer like this. Yeah, just a fantastic round. Everything went perfect. 2,500 blocked, mastery badge, top gun, high caliber, uh, steel wall, and just pretty much every medal that you could pro probably want except from those epic elite medals and of course that 2276 base experience is crazy uh yeah really really amazing round in the AT15 and definitely one I hope that you enjoyed watching. If you did, please hit that like button and feel free to check out the other gameplay videos which are fantastic on this channel that I will link on screen right now. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you did enjoy and if you did, hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you in one of those videos very soon. Goodbye.